We're a small airport here uh, in the northwest of Ireland. We have an object not only of running a successful airport, but also of building the economy and the jobs of the region, and particularly attracting passengers and tourists in, into the area. But the development of this region from a situation where it needs development. Last year we had flights from Germany, Italy, Spain and France. And we don't have budgets to be advertising in big publications in France and Germany. We need to move away from some of the traditional forms of advertising which are very expensive. A cost-effective platform for promoting tourism to the west and northwest of Ireland by combining arts and culture, the internet and live streaming technologies. Creative State Northwest team IWAC together with myself on the side of social media campaign and with Michal O'Donnell from Live Trad. Traditional Irish music is a very sought after experience for people who come to Ireland. And the staff were brilliantly helpful in terms of linking us with the sort of people involved in the creative industries and brought them to us and actually together with us worked out how to improve our business. It was the perfect fit. I think Creative State really managed to pinpoint ideal partners. An institution without art is dead and an institution with art is fully alive. That's what attracted us to Creative State Northwest because here we had a group of people who could actually sit down with us and cross all those divides. You don't normally see culture working hand in hand with the promotion of passenger traffic to an airport. Something that maybe other airports uh, weren't providing for. You know, how do you go after your market? We hosted a concert in the dock in Carrick and Shannon featuring some luminaries of the trad world in Ireland and streamed this out to thousands of people all over the world. Marrying the love of that particular music with other messages which people were happy to take on board. Where you can stay, how you fly into this part of Ireland. Once you come here, where do you go if you want to get trad music? You know, sometimes we can be our own worst enemies in terms of promoting traditional Irish music. And I just thought this was a really innovative way of doing it. The result was really uh, phenomenal. I don't think we expected, actually, the level of interest and interaction that we got. 1.7 million people who engaged in one way or another with this project. So it was absolutely huge. And it has been enormously successful. We had. 15,000 new tourists uh, last year come in from mainland Europe and these were additional tourists that have come in and the Creative State Northwest project was very relevant to that. It's proven that there's an interest in this concept and following on from the first event we decided to run a second event. We increased our webcast traffic threefold. And we can hopefully build on this and spread it out to Galway, to Sligo indeed, to Donegal and have these live streaming running four or five times a year. We were able to experiment in something that we might not otherwise have done. Okay. It didn't cost a huge amount of money, but it still wasn't the type of money that, that we had spare. So the fact that they were able to, to match fund meant we could take a slight risk. And in this case, the risk worked. Uh, but we might not have taken it were it not that we had the, the finance and the encouragement and the pulling together of partners that Creative State Northwest were able to do.